Hello everybody, this is Oksana and this is going to be a demo of my go-to budget foundation routine. So it does not include my under eye concealer. I will leave a link to the video where I demonstrate how I do my under eye concealer. This is just the foundation and it is very budget friendly. It is drugstore. It is the organic wear CC cream from Physicians Formula. You can get this at Ulta. They always have those coupons to make it even more budget friendly. Um, I also have another routine that I sometimes use, kind of alternate between the two. I think I like this better though than this other one, but I will link my tutorial to the other routine, which is the Pacifica CC cream. Um, I do mix this with a mineral foundation to get a little extra coverage out of this and to lighten it up because it's too sheer and too um, dark on its own, but it is another nice um, kind of drugstore routine. It's a little bit more expensive than the Physician's Formula though, but I just thought that I would mention this because this is something that I also do sometimes. So back to this, this is a teeny bit too dark for me. They have two colors, light and light medium. The light, especially now heading into winter, is just not going to work for me color wise. So this is a step that you may not need to do, but this is a step that I do to lighten it up. I put it in a little container like this, and then I have um, a Lucy Minerals Lucy Light sample size of their Snow White foundation just a pure white foundation if you swatch it you can see it has coverage you cannot just use like a finishing powder it needs to be a coverage foundation type product sprinkle a little bit in there mix it up and now it has lightened the foundation up so that it matches me I do a little swatch test make sure that the color is now acceptable for me and I just make a little batch and that is what I use now this does add a teeny bit more coverage since you're adding more pigment just a tiny bit more I find that this is a pretty good coverage product it's about medium coverage so very good for a CC cream especially since these tend to be more sheer this is more like a foundation so it is great so that is my routine and I have done a little bit of prep work before the demo I have sprayed on a cotton ball this youthful trends caffeinated makeup primer and I just use that all over as a toner this is a step that I sometimes do if I want my makeup to last longer um, it lasts quite well on its own anyways but you know if I'm having a long day or something or I'm filming like in this case I do really enjoy this primer I think it really legitimately makes my makeup last longer and I prefer it on a cotton ball because um, if I spray it all over and my hair gets wet, like these tiny little pieces of hair, they'll start to curl up because my hair is naturally curly. So I just don't want that to happen, and that's why I use it on a cotton ball. But without further ado, let's watch this demo. So the first thing I do is I just dot the foundation all over my face. And you can definitely use a brush to blend it out. Sometimes I use a brush but most of the time it's just pretty quick and easy to use your fingers so that is what I'm going to do in this demonstration I am using a sponge as well after this so I will be blending it out a little bit more thoroughly I like to apply quite a bit of it as you can see so it takes a little more effort in terms of the blending so now I'm gonna take a damp beauty blender sponge and I am just going to go over all of it make sure it is nice and blended out but there's no you know excess like you can see kind of around my lips there's a little extra foundation that always kind of gets on the lips so I'll clean that up uh, my eyebrows as well I like to just use my clean part of the sponge and try to kind of make sure there's no foundation trapped in there 
And the next thing I do is I take a tiny little brush. This is the Eco Tools lip brush. Any kind of small, tiny <laughs> pointed brush will work. And then I take this Carry concealer. It's supposed to be a crayon, but I have a sample of it, so it's in a little pod, and I think it's easier to use in a little pot because I like using a brush. This is from Mona Bay Minerals. And another concealer that I like um, just as much is the Osuds. They also sell it in like a tube, but again, I like the pot <laughs> sample because it's easier to use. This one, as you can see, is a tiny bit lighter, so I do really like them both, but I've been grabbing that one lately just because I feel like the color um, matches better. Now, Osuds also comes in lighter colors, but I like how this is light and also very yellow toned as well. So I just take a little brush into it, and then I cover up like I have a little pimple going on right there and right there and the um, foundation is actually or the CC cream it's quite good at covering everything up so you really don't have to do very much concealing and then I just blend it out with my finger that works best for me I sometimes take a sponge and just blend it out a tiny bit more and then in terms of any kind of powder, um, I actually feel like maybe it's because I have dry skin, but these creamy types of foundations um, that feel really nice on the skin, sometimes when you set it with a powder, especially if it has oil control, it just kind of sucks the moisture out of the foundation and it looks almost like patchy. But if I did want to set this, um, a powder that I do like is the Pumpkin and Poppy inner glow celestial powder and here is what it looks like it doesn't have um, silica in it which is great because silica tends to be really drying on me and that's usually the biggest culprit for you know that kind of <laughs> sucking all the moisture out of your makeup and having it look all wonky look so you can use a fluffy sponge to apply it Oh, sponge fluffy brush to apply it um, I'm using a sponge to just get a little bit of it in the lid a little bit on my sponge and just kind of really lightly first I lightly dab it and then I will go back and kind of blend it out more this is more like to get the product onto my skin and then once it's on all over then I kind of go back and and do more of the blending so here is my foundation look all zoomed out. That's basically what it looks like. I really enjoy it. I think it gives good coverage, a good, beautiful, natural finish. Doesn't look, you know, cakey or like you're wearing makeup. And I just really, really like it and wanted to share it with you. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.